Okay, I'm gonna remember to pull up the map and figure out where the heck the star even is, because I would actually like to just know. Because uh, it'd be cool if we could actually get the, to use the free star event, but no, no one ever gets to do that, it seems. Let's go ahead and view the map. Zoom out, rather. Huh. So just gotta go- okay, that's doable, possibly. Except not. <laughs> uh, thought I would get a free star. Instead, I just fall far. And by fall far, I mean not fall far at all because I'm getting ones. We need this board to wrap up. I'm sick of this thing in Koopa. I'm sick of his chill music and his stupid face and his stupid delightful attitude. It's like silent. Maybe that's why I hate him so much because he reminds me of silent because he's just like a pleasant butt munch who's stupid and uninteresting. I don't like him. Whatever. Double coins, whoop de doo The tree stomp. Just a regular minigame. We've done it this round as well. Oh, Koopa, you're you're not fun. I hate to break it to you for like the millionth time, which means I really don't hate to break it to you. I just want to break it to you over and over again. You're not fun. You're not a cool guy. Ah. <laughs> Oh wait, I'm in the tree this time. Okay, I guess it's a little different this time. I just realized that. Okay, so you hold on A to go forward, B to go back. Well, this is gonna be super easy because I'm not a foolish computer. <laughs> and as soon as I say that, he just completely passes me. Uh, let's see. Come on, just turn around, thank you. I was like, how do I do this? How do I control my tree? Don't take that out of context. Ba -ba -da -ba. Also, don't take the banana saying fight out of context. It's just funny that it says fight. Fight! Banana fighters! Like the banana gun! That's just a funny item. Last turn! Oh boy! What amazing event is gonna happen here? An item that you can't obtain! A long series of spaces that we have to watch that won't amount to anything in the end. Five coins that don't really matter! but still make me angry because they are lost and not used on something more eventful. A crossroads which doesn't really have any significance except it does sort of kind of but it's just annoying to watch because it takes forever and you have no say in the matter. And we don't even get to see Bowser, hooray! Oh, two coins away from a 16. Uh, just hit it. One, two, three, four, five, missed the happening space and seven. And Mario's gonna finish us off with a waste of time. Mega Mushroom Ahoy! So they could have had it pirate themed, but now they just go to the tropical beach and stuff like, oh, I'm a happy pappy resort. I don't appreciate it. It's not fun. Let's get out of here. Oh, hey, we might be able to see Bowser. Wait, no, was that? Yeah, it's two spaces. Never mind. I was excited for half a second, being like, oh, Bowser might show up. I like Bowser. He likes fun vacation parties. And it wouldn't have even mattered anyway. Cool. <laughs> and then he stomps on Waluigi, and we're good. Mario never left his little circle. And he's one away from 69. How lame. We don't even get to celebrate with the 69 in the end. Two luckies in a row? Okay, I didn't know that could happen. Uh, double coins, yay! Even though it doesn't really matter, because I won already. Oh, uh, what do we got? No new minigames. Stamp out. Stamps have water in them, right? I don't know. It sounds like he's drinking water. Water! Refreshing! A thousand refresher points! I just realized that that ball on the left over there, it just like, when it bounced on the ground, it just bounced in place over and over. Very unrealistic ball physics, Nintendo. We need to get on, need to get back on the ball. Stamping all over your face is except not really because it isn't your face, it's the stamp on your butt, which I am covering up with my butt. I don't understand half the things I say, but that's okay. A uh, hidden Waluigi symbol, by the way, and it was made by Waluigi, which is funny. And we're good. Uh, wait, was that the end? Yeah, it was the end of the game. Hooray! Now we can finally escape the. We get escape paradise. Escape from paradise and go back to the curtain lands. Our journey has ended, and here are the results. I don't care, Koopa. I'm just. I'm tired. I'm hungry. 
want to get out of your little beach paradise, and I want to just finish up this board and celebrate with all my presents. Yeah, it's like, when you're hosting a party and like, you're just really sick of everyone being there, like, hurry up and go home already, I don't care anymore. Yeah, we had fun, but now I'm just tired and want to leave. Minigame star, gee, I wonder. Oh my god, it's Daisy, didn't see that coming. You'll never see it coming. Why does Wario have long sleeves in this game? But sometimes he has short sleeves and it's really confusing. Especially since they use the same artwork for same occasions that have different long sleeves and short sleeves. And it looks like he just has yellow arms, which looks really weird because you can't see the ends of the sleeves and I don't really understand it. And there's no shirt texture, but I never have that problem for Mario and Luigi or Waluigi. I just have it for Wario. I don't know why, but whatever. Does anyone have any idea what I was even talking about? If not, who cares? Because I still won. I like how Waluigi's nose is just in the shot. It's like, wah, I smell the party star. Results, 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 results. Uh huh. Hey, did somebody say results? <laughs> uh, detailed results. Yes, we got corns, 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 corn as far as the eye can see. There's one Bowser space in this for me. How wonderful! I'm so lucky. Congratulations, Daisy. So here's the present I promised you. And I'm just such a swell guy that I'm gonna give it to you without challenging you to a minigame in the end. Just kidding, ha ha, not so fast. Wow. We're going to face off in a minigame first. Hello. We must now face off in a careening Koopa's duel. Uh, we need to hear the rules for this one? Sure. The trick is to, in this game is to maneuver the shells into the holes on this panel. Move the squiggly thing in order to tilt the panel in the same direction. You'll see the four holes in the panel. Only one shell, only one shell will fit into each uh, hole. If you clear all three planet panels before I do, then you win. And now we shall begin. We shall begin is more like it. But yeah, um, this is actually my favorite or one of my favorite uh, dual minigames because like it's just like a satisfying feeling when you get into the hole and like it like makes a cool sound effect and stuff. I just really like the sound effect of like the. No, wow, that was really loud, I apologize. Um, uh, like the suction cup noise that it makes, and it really sounds cool and stuff. And I just always like these little contraptions in general, like in real life and stuff, they're really cool and fun to play with. And shouldn't we be using the red shell since Koopa's the green guy? I don't know. Speaking of shells, I probably should have thought this to talk about, like, way back during the board, but... Uh, I have this weird, like, fixation where I think shells taste good, like, I think I would like, uh, clams or something, because I think... Pasta shells would taste the same as clam shells, but they probably don't. But like, I've always wanted to eat clams, even though I'm a vegetarian, I've never had them before. And I think I could actually eat the shell part, not just the thing that's inside of it. Probably not how it works. Congratulations, Daisy! And now... Here's your present! And despite his board being very crummy, Koopa does give out my favorite present for every character. The Matryoshka doll! Yes, every character has this doll, it's not just a daisy thing, if in case you were wondering, it looks very funny and stuff, but every character gets one of these dolls, and it's always gotten on the Koopa board. But with that, we have finished all of the boards. And I said it so nonchalantly, so I can't possibly be setting you up for some sort of trap. You receive presents from everyone! But hang on, there's actually one more! Hey, Bowser! I forgot you were in this game because you barely showed up! <laughs> That's right, weakling! Daisy! Now I've got all of your presents! Unless you go into the present mode and see that they're all still there so I don't actually have them. But I'm just gonna say I'm having them because if you want them back, then you'll have to come to my party! Gwahahahaha! 
Now come if you dare! I just love that part. It's just like he pushes her aside, just like, let's go to my party house! And then Toad's just like, oh, what'd I miss? Oh. Play Bowser's Gnarly Party! Which we will be doing in the next episode. Next time on Mario Party 4, aka Daisy Party, the finale, aka five episodes before the finale, probably because the, that's how I record these things and it gets split up into really weird and awkward stuff. We are going to Bowser's Gnarly Party! This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. World 3-3, uh, three, three, even though we're not uh, underground anymore, we still have the underground temple music. Whatevs. I uh, just got a combination of songs. I won't complain about that because the soundtrack is really good. But after this, boy, let me tell ya, it's gonna get cranked up to 11. Hyping it up a lot, I'm sure you're all excited. Uh, we gotta get through this first, so let's uh, talk about the here and now. I thought there was gonna be a thing under there. Uh, let's just jump on that. Go through here. Uh, thank you. I was worried if, uh, we wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, we do get an extra life, which is nice. No mushrooms, it seems. There might be some down there. Let's see what we got. What do you get? What do you get? What do you get? Nothing. We got corn. Uh, we do have a life, so we'll create the restore po Wow! It's like I knew! It's like I smelt it. I felt it in my bones, as Leighton would say in that one time. I don't know why I remember that. So, that's awkward. Is it really like you start over from the beginning? Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. You're all just yelling at me and be like, just reset the thing. Continue. I do have a continue. I have one continue. Like it's an arcade sort of thing. So after this though, I might run out and then. Okay, I could live with that. At least I don't have to like replay the progress. So that's good. Or I might have to. <laughs> Go and jump and jump. Why is with the, like it's more so like the floatiness like the controls are not as tight as you would have as you would like them to be Because like in Mario Bros. I should probably create a restore point right now Uh, create that. I don't know what's up with the text up there. It's like <laughs> But uh, yeah, like the controls like when you make a jump it just you get pulled back if you I guess it was sort of was it like that in the original Mario Bros. I feel like it was uh, Let's load it up again uh, just not make that jump, I guess. I'm gonna wait for that. Then you end up flying forward, so it's very nerve-wracking. Uh, let's jump on that, and that, and okay, just fly down here. Be hilarious if it just, like, kept on floating downwards, like, oh, you're dead now. Uh, jump on that, get me, uh, extra life, and okay, I didn't miss this time. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. That was almost terrible. That was almost bad. Uh, jump. Okay. Jump. There we go. Oh, jeez. I did not know that was there. I was going to create the restore point. Uh, create that. Uh, just keep going. Huh. Going to do that. Oh, I was not thinking. Uh, load the restore point. Eh, yeah, load it. Why the heck not? Jump over here. And get these corns. Uh, wait for that to come back out, and there we go. Uh, just wait for this. I think we were small. Uh, you can't duck in this game, so thankfully we didn't have to worry about that. Uh, though we may have been able to fit regardless. I'm sad we didn't, haven't been able to show the Super Ball that often so far in this LB because I keep on getting tiny. Uh, well, that's our chance to get a mushroom. Gonna get that. Do not go over there for that one other coin. Uh, okay, we got that. Keep on going. Hopefully, we'll get the chance to show the Super Ball. It is pretty super powered, so I guess that's why they don't give that many to you. Uh, you're not really giving me a chance to do what I want to do. You, you know what I would want to do in this situation, right? Uh, I guess that works. Oh, but I got hit in the process. How lame. I was on to like jump off the second rock while I was on top of the first rock, but there was never a point where there were enough rocks on screen. Oh well. Made it through world three, and gee, I wonder if third try is the charm. Thank you, Mari. Ow! Oh, Daisy! Ooh, it's not actually Daisy.
Time for World 4! Well, that's unfortunate. Oh my god, I love this song so stinking much. It's a really good, really good, really good stinking song. It is a Japanese-based level and it sounds super duper good. I didn't prepare to sing songs with this song, but whatever, here's a ninja for whatever reason, cause Boruto's dad is a wiener, and I really should stop now. Okay, sorry for ruining the greatest song in video game history for you, but whatever. Final level is based on Japan, and it's got a stinking amazing song. I love this song so stinking much, I'm pretty sure anyone who's heard it Absolutely adores it. There's some brawl remixes of this song, or I guess just one brawl remix of it, but it's just so singing good. I love it so much. Uh, go over here. But yeah, the ninjas are like dry bones. They get knocked down once and then they get back up uh, later. Because ninjas never die. Yeah, they literally never die. You can't kill them. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, maybe they died of the bombs. I don't know. Uh, jump up here. Hit that. Go over here. Oh, gee. Come on. Thank you. Go over here, and just gonna avoid these guys if we can. Wait for that guy to poop his little uh, bullet bill out, or his bootleg bullet bills. I'll officially refer to it now. Uh, let's see. Go over here. Uh, phooey, I'm gonna risk it. What do we got? We got nothing. Oh, that's unfortunate. I right, jumped on him again. Jump up here. Hit that. Hit that. Uh, go over here. Thank you. Uh. I have two lives, so I shouldn't create the restore point. That'd be cheap. Won't do it. Won't be completely cheap. Uh, go over here. And that's really unfortunate. But we get to hear the beginning of the song again. Yay! Uh, I'm just gonna... Can I even make it up there? Oh, I could get the star. Uh, jeez. Uh, go over in here. Okay, just keep going. I uh, just wanted to see if there were any extra mushrooms or stuff along the way, but unfortunately I couldn't find any. Go over here! Over here! It's always so stressful when you get on those. Uh, come on, thank you. Go over here. Oh, jeez. Uh, get a mushroom. I need... Why wasn't I getting the mushroom? Okay, thank you. Uh, go over here. Oh, I wish I had a super ball. My balls need to be a super, because I'm a super Mario. Oh, that's a very unfortunate. Mamma mia. Uh, just jump up here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, that is like... Oh, come on! That would have been the ultimate last second save in video game history, but I still got hit, apparently, which is lame. And I can't reach it because of that. Oh, I guess I would have need to hit right when I was falling down, so now these coins are just here to taunt me. Cool beans. Uh, at least I get to hear the beginning part again. I was like that. Uh, let's go, go, and hit that. Also, I'm gonna uh, be very uh, scrutinized in the comments. That I don't know why I thought I would be able to dodge that. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna make a lot of people angry in the comments if. No, wait, it's China, not Japan, because I don't know why, because like, I think bamboo. But ninjas are Japan, right? But bamboo means panda, and panda is China. I don't know. Uh, countries are weird. I'm sorry for being culturally... Not insensitive, but like culturally ignorant. Sorry for just being a dumb dumb. Uh, so you're talking to the guy who thought Argentina was a state up until like a few months ago. Not months, but like year. It was like a couple years ago. I just, it wasn't... I didn't actually think Argentina was a state. I thought... Like, I just heard a friend... No, it was just like a, I don't know, I was thinking of it, like a split second. When you hear the word Argentina, you think state, but oh, no, I correct myself. But no, it's like it's written down for all the time. Clearly, I always thought that Argentina was a state. It wasn't just a slip of the tongue or an accident. No, it's an eternal thing. Oh, whatever. Something, something, dag, something, something, Scottish, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna, we're just gonna continue. Uh, I don't know, I'm so nervous about this thing. Use the Super Bowl. Uh, go over here, and like, I kind of don't like that you can never tell if you have the Super Bowl or not, so maybe I have had it at certain points, and I just never didn't remember. Uh, go and get rid of that guy, it's, it makes life so much easier when you have the, when you have the Super Bowl, though. Uh, can you get rid of the, no, you can't get rid of the Bullet Bill Blasters, that would be amazing, if, oh jeez, 
Okay, you can duck when you're big, okay. But still, it didn't really seem to matter when we were small. Uh, that's unfortunate, speaking of being small. Uh, go over here. Uh, there's a snake. Uh, vomiting out its own Super Balls, that's cool. Uh, run through here, through here, and I will avoid all the piranha plants here right now. Uh, I hope that Koopa doesn't come back. Go! Okay, cool. Uh, hit that. Uh, wait for him to come down. Run. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, wait, 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 why the Goomba of all things? Does zero count as a continue when I could get to the continue screen? It doesn't. That's unfortunate. Cutting away, I guess? 